the number of places where you could buy something, curbside is now expanding. Some non-essential businesses, they are now joining many restaurants and offering sidewalk delivery to your car. And 13 Action News reporter Jeremy Chen right now is live in Henderson to show you how one local business is now adjusting to the changes. Jeremy. Yeah, Todd, Tricia, for the past six weeks, these retail businesses like the ones right behind me have been just trying to figure out when exactly they can reopen. As you can see right behind me, right over there, you see they have signs for curbside pickup. There's a lady right over there going to pick up uh, since the, some of that right over there. And this business right over here is also going to be doing the same thing. And for them, the updated governor's orders provides a lifeline for them to get back to work. Imaginations Unlimited, this is Michelle. The phone has been busy for Michelle Walker. She owns this embroidery store in Henderson. I have a lot of um, orders that came in before the whole shutdown, and I have those orders all finished. Her store has been shut down for about six weeks since Governor Sisolak declared non-essential businesses to close. It's now reopening after he announced Thursday retail curbside pickup for stores like hers would be allowed. I'm just glad that they have lifted the this this much so that you know my like all the jobs all those jobs over there in the corner are all jobs that people have to pick up so now maybe i can get some payments which would be nice walker says social distancing isn't an issue as only her family members are in the store right now since she's already doing online orders walker says the transition to curbside pickup has been smooth but she's taking some preventative measures you know i'm not handling cash and i'm not handling credit cards everything is paid online and so basically they can just drive up and I'll give them their things. Walker expects she'll be doing more of that in the coming days. And we did reach out to officials from the city of Henderson as well as Clark County, and they say the businesses do not need any sort of permitting process in order to conduct curbside pickup and delivery. Now coming up at six, we're gonna hear from those officials talking about how this will work exactly. Jeremy Chen, 13, Action News.